And I'm also just completely excited to be here and just seeing that we have an open meeting today. Uh, so I was here four weeks ago when the open meeting space was just covered in, uh, in uh, dry grass. <laughs> and we basically just started uh, raking away. And uh, yeah, so it's just incredible to see after these four weeks that we have an open meeting space and a center that is just looking so beautiful. Um, yeah, I did my f 12 empowerments, uh, I think it's five years ago now. And basically, I would say my life has ch changed completely since then. Um, yeah, it was um, such a powerful experience to go through all of the empowerments and more and more seeing clearly how I have been lim limiting myself in my life. Just seeing how I have had like built structures around like how my life should look like in order to have a happy life uh, but at the same time just experiencing that like all the structures that I have is not working <laughs> uh, so seeing that clear more and more clearly through the 12 empowerments was just really uh, powerful and um, yeah when seeing when seeing all of these things like oh I need a I need an education, that's clear. I, I definitely need the, um, at least a bachelor, maybe more, um, and then I'll be successful and, and feel happy. Or uh, I need to be in an intimate relationship or uh, own a house or a car or whatever it might be. I'm just uh, in my life before meeting the training, just see, at the same time as achieving these things, just seeing that oh, it doesn't actually give me the sense of well-being that I'm seeking. Um, yeah, so basically through the 12 empowerments, just seeing these things very clearly, how I had expected happiness from all these things uh, was very powerful. And then starting to take responsibility for my data uh, and relying on the short moments of open intelligence to clarify that and just seeing how I actually want to spend my life. Is it going for all of these things that I have learned throughout my life uh, will give me happiness uh, or like expectations from family or and friends and society or uh, or maybe I can just rely on open intelligence and see more and more what my passions are uh, and how I want to contribute those to the, to the world. Uh, and also one of the things I love about the 12 Empowerments is, uh, is the harmonization of relationships. Uh, and. Uh, especially maybe in, you know, like uh, family relationships, just more and more uh, being able to see my part of the relationship instead of being a victim to everything that came up, whether it's comparison or jealousy, or envy or anger or hatred or whatever it is, just coming back to the short moments and taking responsibility for my data. And through that, just seeing how all the relationships have become so much more Easeful and beautiful and loving and, and just being able to show up uh, to the relationship more and more the way I would like to. Uh, for example, uh, in the relationship with my siblings, I'm the youngest and just always comparing myself to them. Like, are oh, they're doing, my sister is doing this, my brother is doing this, so I should probably do the same things and maybe like I'll be good enough as well. Uh, and yes, if seeing these things and then okay, I can come back to the short moments of relying on open intelligence and uh, and then, yeah, just seeing how I can shine in my unique way. I don't have to be my sister, I don't have to be my brother, I don't have to do the same things, I can do the things I would like to do in my life. For example, sh coming here for four, four months of the year, which might seem crazy to to some people, like, like my family, maybe. <laughs> uh, but just being so clear about where my priorities are, um, because I see how, how much benefit I receive in my life fr from participating fully 
in the training and utilizing the four mainstays. Uh, yeah, and uh, also from doing the 12 empowerments, having the support of the trainer, uh, which is just incredible, having that customer, my support uh, to outshine really strong data as well, like the, yeah, when things happen in life and and the strongest afflictive states might come up, I know exactly where to go. I know about the short moments, the training media, the training settings, the uh, community, hanging out and writing to my trainer and just receiving exactly the support I need to continue to relax deeply. And in that, just experience experiencing the greatest relief of seeing how all data self-release uh, and is recognized as open intelligence. Um, yeah, and um, yeah, one thing, uh, one uh, uh, more thing is uh, also just seeing how through all of these like clarifications all the way and and relying on open intelligence, seeing how it's more and more easeful to work in teams. Like, uh, for example, joining in the setting up of the center here. We've been together for four weeks and working really closely together and showing up every day. And it's just been so easeful. I haven't, I haven't ever experienced anything like that in other, any other place. There's always some kind of like, um, like, uh, for example, in my uh, work pl uh, places f before I'm at the training, like there's always some kind of feeling of, oh, yeah, whether it is gossip or if it's not being happy about the leadership or whatever it might be. And then just, um, yeah, being here for the setup and seeing how it's just completely possible for everyone to relate in a uh, completely loving and respectful way and seeing what we can achieve together it's incredible and I just think that every, like yeah it makes it obvious that it's possible for everyone everywhere to have that same experience when relying on open intelligence um, so yeah my deepest wish is just for everyone in the world to be able to experience that and and just see how we as human beings uh, all over the world, world can create peace and live harmoniously together. Being here, is, it makes that really uh, obvious.